Hey, how's it going? So, I'm here to make a, another video about how to do some uh, scripting with the AIs, and like I said before, I'm not very good at it, but I've been learning some few things here and there, and uh, I got a question in the comments that I was able to actually figure out pretty quick, and I figured I would do a little short video uh, to help him out and others. Uh, and it's a very short one. This one's actually very simple and easy to set up. No matter if you use the previous tutorial or if you're just starting fresh or if you're just, uh, you have a map already and you wanna, you wanna get some AIs to have their health bars visible. That's what we're doing. We're, we're gonna make sure that the health bars for all your AIs are visible so you can see how much damage you've done and, you know, all the good stuff that a health bar is supposed to do. Okay, so since the last time I was here, I haven't really done any edits to the map, uh, because I've been busy recovering from a sickness, and, uh, the only thing I've done is add this little extra script brain here, and it's only to give me a weapon to kill the elites faster, because, honestly, the last video took too long for multiple reasons, but mainly because I didn't have a way to put down the AIs as quick as I needed to to show them respawning. So uh, we still have the same map layout. We don't have to do anything to the map unless, of course, you have a second script brain or whatever. But since I do, I now have to go select which script brain I want to use and I have to select this one. Now we go into the node graph. Not pressing Y, or holding it. Okay, so we're here where we left off. Nothing's changed, it's all the same. Uh, but when I say this is super easy, I mean it. So, what you're gonna do for, for if you still use the same node graph as I did last game, or last video, uh, then we'll, we'll just start from here. But if you're starting fresh or doing something else, it will also work for you. So go ahead and go into your AI modifiers node tab and go down here and grab set all health bars to visible. All you have to do is connect these like that. Set this one in the middle. So that way on squad spawned, then you can set all the health bars to visible. My dog is going crazy. What is he doing? Anyway, um, set number variable is connected to see all health bars visible, and that's it. Now you just gotta select this uh, options here and set it to true, so that way everything is visible. Um, and that's it. That's really all it is. Um, and if you are just started fresh, you can go ahead and just use this node right here, the on squad spawned, which can be found in this tab right here. It should just be events AI. Yeah, on squad spawn right there. And that's it. Uh, and you just connect that one to that one. And that's it. Now we can test it out. Node grab built successfully. We're good. It gave me the weapon I wanted. And see, now you'll see that all of them have a health bar when they're visible themselves. Yeah. A lot quicker than last time. And now you'll see they respawn because of the, the last one I did. And here we are. Wow, that's pretty loud. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going. I don't know where he's going. Hiding out. But yeah. Um, but if you want to know how to set the weapons up the way I just did, how I'm shooting skewer rounds out of an assault rifle, I could do that too. But I mean, there's probably a billion tutorials over that already. So um, that's it. That is all you have to do. It wasn't going to be really long because there wasn't really a lot to do. But. I guess that's it, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one.